Quinn Hughes Troy is a 24 year old defenseman for the Vancouver Canucks. Now there's like hockey families and then there's hockey families. The Hughes family Troy is a hockey family. So Quinn is one of three brothers currently playing in the NHL. Of course, Jack and Luke play for the New Jersey Devils. His dad was the director of player development for your Toronto Maple Leafs. And his mom, Ellen Weinberg Hughes, plays for the played for the U.S. women's national team. Everybody was uh, uh, really good at hockey. Quinn was born in Orlando, started playing hockey or youth hockey when his family lived. I think his dad worked in the NHL, moved around a lot played hockey in Boston a little bit. And then they moved to Toronto when his dad took the job with the Leafs when Quinn was seven and kind of, that's where his formative youth hockey years were. By 13, he was playing defense full time. Played in the GTHL. You hear a lot about even here in the, in the U S the was a greater Toronto hockey league for the Toronto Marlboros. We're in 2014-15, scored 13 goals, 31 assists, 44 points, 74 games played. Those are kind of cool jerseys. Don't you like those, Troy? I do like those. I like how he's like, looks the same, too. <laughs> I got the same look yeah. on his face. Yeah, That stick, too, that ooh, old Bauer Vapor. There you go. Now, he had the option to play either in the OHL or to go back to the States to the U.S. National Development Program. And he chose the UNDP to play in the U.S. So he spent the 2015-16 seasons in the U.S. National Development Program. They just got the same look. He does have a very distinctive look, even yes. with his helmet on. Yep. You can tell who it is. Now, when he was at the U.S. National Development Program, pretty good roommate, Troy. Brady Kachuk. There you go. That's not bad, huh? In his second season there, in their U18 schedule, he had... 10 goals, 43 assists for 53 points and 65 games played. He then committed to the University of Michigan and started there as a freshman in 2017-18. Youngest NCAA hockey player that year at 17 years old. Very similar to Macklin Celebrini right now is the presumptive number one pick in the summer's draft. He was currently at Boston. Is he at Boston College or Boston University? I never know which one he's at. I think he's at Boston though. University. I uh, played really well. He's just 17 as well. Yeah, Boston, Quinn, Boston University. Yeah. Quinn Hughes finished his freshman season at Michigan with five goals, 24 assists for 29 points and 37 games played. Led all Big Ten freshmen in assists. Also the most assists by a freshman in Michigan program history. Was named to the all Big Ten all freshman team and the all Big Ten second team. Now that summer, summer of 2018, Quinn was drafted seventh overall. In the first round, betrayed by your Vancouver Canucks. I love to do this. My favorite thing. Here's the players Ooh. that are taken ahead of him. So you got to, we're going to go through one by one and we're going to each say if that was the right pick or we would have taken, now hindsight being 2020, should have taken Quinn Hughes. Kind of a tough one. And number one, uh, Rasmus Stalin. I'd probably have Hughes over him though, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd probably, yeah, I'd take him. I'd take uh, Hughes. Number two pick that in the 2018 NHL entry draft, Andrei Svechnikov. Hughes. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Hughes. Third <laughs> one's easy. It's, what is it? Jesperi. Hughes. Hot, hot, yeah, Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, this is the toughest one. You might lose another fan of the show and Loud Collector if you choose wrong here. Uh, Brady Kachuk. I, I was I was thinking, I saw this option, and what's crazy is they have about the same amount of points. Both captains at a very young age. Both captains. One's a D. I mean, to have a D with the same amount of points as a four, does that hold a little more weight? Not as many goals, obviously. Oh. So are you saying we should say goodbye to Phil right now? Is that take a moment? I don't know, man. I I probably you know what? I'm gonna go Brady Kachuk. Let's go Brady. I want the physical of this. I want the energy. I'm gonna go with Brady. This one's tough. <laughs> I know this was not easy. Yeah, I might lean Hughes. Sorry, sorry, Phil. Uh, I do like Brady Kachuk a lot, though. Fifth and sixth picks were easy peasy. Barrett Hayton, you're going to take Hughes. And then uh, Philippe Zadina, you're going to take Hughes as well. Yeah. After the draft, though, Hughes did decide to go back to Michigan for a sophomore season, 2018-19. Scored five goals, added 28 assists for 33 points and 32 games played. Was named All-Big Ten first team. Was a Hobie Baker finalist. 
as well. I had to think this is like totally unnecessary, but you'll know why I threw it in. Troy, following a 4-1 loss to the Minnesota Golden Gophers <laughs> during the college bowl season. So the Gophers actually beat someone in an important game. That's cool. Yeah. Knocked him out of college hockey training. Mm-hmm. He then signed his three-year entry-level contract with the Knucks, made his NHL debut on March 28th, 2019, and recorded his first NHL point on an assist to Burnsville, Minnesota's own Brock Besser. I was just so, going to say, I'm uh, like, that looks like Brock Besser. <laughs> yeah, there you go. that's actually his first the point. actual picture. Nice. We're so obnoxious, we got to throw in the Burnsville, Minnesota. Well, you want even more obnoxious? Uh, Besser's, I think it might be a nephew, plays in Farmington, if I remember right. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. The next season, Hughes made the Canucks team out of camp and finished the 2019-20 season with eight goals, 45 assists for 53 points in 68 games played. You got to remember, though, 2019-20 season was cut short due to the pandemic on March 12, 2020. So he did finish that year leading all rookies in the NHL on points. Just the third defenseman tried ever to do this in the modern era. Bobby Orr and Brian Leach are the other two. Did he win the Calder, though? Nope. nope. Lost to Kale McCarr. <laughs> did play in the All-Star game, though, which is kind of cool for a rookie. Then prior to the 2020-22 season, he signed a six-year $47.1 million contract, which looks like a steal as of right now. That's you know, sometimes long track long-term contracts bite you as a team yep. the times they you know think if he had to sign an agreement today it'd be the average annual value would be a lot higher that season he became the fastest Canucks defenseman to ever reach 100 career points he finished 2021-22 career best 68 points in 76 games played then last season he took another step forward Troy has 76 points in 78 games played he also last year I think this is kind of cool. Became the fastest defenseman in NHL history to record 200 assists in his first 263 games. One game quicker than Brian Leach. Nice. Prior to this season, Hughes was named the 15th captain in Vancouver Canucks history. Also making him the youngest active captain in the NHL at 23 years old. Kind of stole that from our lovely French-speaking Nick Suzuki we talked about last show. (laughs) Yep. He's the first defenseman to wear the C for Vancouver more than 30 years. So far in 2023-24, he has 12 goals, which is already a career high. 54 assists for 66 points in only 54 games played. That's a 1.22 point per game average this year. He's having a breakthrough year for sure. Kind of creeping up into McCarr territory, I think, in, in the hobby. He just seems like he's in that McCarr shadow. Like I thought it was like really interesting that... He's a Hobie Baker finalist, loses to Kale McCarr. Yeah. He has more points McCar- than McCarr in 2020 and loses the Calder Trophy to uh, to McCarr. All right, let's dig into his hobby market a little bit. So Quinn Hughes is a 2019-20 Young Guns. PSA 10 pop, 2,290, 64% gem rate. Last sold for $168 US on February 12th. Down 20% in the past two weeks, 30% in the past wow. month. It really spiked, though. Like, it hit 301 <laughs> on November 21st. So, it's well, kind yeah. of trailing down. So this pops out. It gets crazy high. Move on. Crazy. Find something else. <laughs> yeah. In January of 2024, so last month, Quinn Hughes finished ranked 18th in our top 25 rankings of players with the most cards sold for the month. He had 994 cards sold. If you look at last year for the all of 2023, he finished ranked 29th. So his sales are creeping up as far as player rankings go. Uh, 29th last year for most cards sold. And then we're going to end our kind of Quinn Hughes hobby deep dive info and, and hobby info with this top five card sales state. Now, there's actually really a card that I'm really can't wait to talk to you about here, too, because I'm kind of shocked it isn't his number one sale. So the fifth highest sale of the Quinn Hughes card to date is a 2019-20 Upper Deck Young Guns High Gloss, which is out of 10, of course, raw. So for $2,905 US dollars, April 2021. No surprise there. No. Nope. Number four is a 2019-20 The Cup Dual 
auto rookie marks with brother Jack RPA for both Jack Hughes and Quinn Hughes 101. So for 2,999 us in March of 2021, I don't know how this isn't the highest yeah. Quinn Hughes card. So. Well, I'm wondering, I don't know. It's like, if you're a fan of just one of them, maybe you don't want both of them on the same card. I mean, you'd almost have to be a fan of the family, right? Yeah. <laughs> His parents probably bought this. Or the their top three, the top three sales are all basically the same card. It's his 2019-20 Cup RPA at a 99. I, ironically, the third highest sale I think has the best patch. That sold mm-hmm. for 3,217 US in March of 2021. The number two sale was 3,500 in February of 2021. I mean, the three sales are way better patch than that, right? Yeah, way better. And then the number one was 3,550, so 50 more than the number two sale in February of 2021. When you look back and if you paid attention to all five of these sales, they were all in 2021. Yeah. And given how he's kind of ex- he's had a, I would call it then maybe like a minor hobby breakthrough because while his young guns kind of surged and the sales volume is up, we're not seeing Troy like a lot of high end sales for Quinn Hughes yet this year. Like where, where Jack Hughes had the big run, I mean he was having like seven, eight, nine thousand dollar sales. You had we've had a, who else? Caulfield in the past years had some huge a bunch of you know maybe three four five thousand dollar sales it's like 1500 has been tops what people have been spending on quinn hughes cards now and so that kind of brings me to maybe we'll call it like the sixty four thousand dollar hobby question about quinn hughes is it, it, to me it's the whole mccarr thing right yeah. it's, and i want to get your input on all this in a second but is there room for another superstar hobby elite defenseman right now? Is he is he the Leon Dreisaitl of defensemen? If Makar is the Mc, 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 the, the McDavid of defensemen, what does Quinn Hughes need to do to maybe firmly get in that Makar camp? Does he need like a deep playoff run? And, and the, now Vancouver could win the Stanley Cup. They're awesome this year. Does he need to win some Calder trophies? Does he need to get over 100 points? <laughs> how's he going to how's it, I, I'm going to make fun of you, but how does he win some more Calders? <laughs> Why, what did I do? Calders Rookie of the Year. <laughs> you, only, you only got one shot at that. Oh, bad, Norris right? Trophy. No, Norris, Norris Trophy. Trophy. All right, all right, Norris Trophy. Yeah. That's a Troy mistake right there. That's a Troy mistake. Oh, <laughs> so honored. Yeah. How does he we need, to, need to win some Norris Trophies? Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> I don't know. What needs to happen? Oh, I think all probably a lot of those have to happen because if you look at it, and I just had to look this up quick, I think McCarr has less games played than Hughes, but as a point per game D man has a lot more goals, I think 40 or so more goals than Hughes. So McCarr's definitely got him on the stats thing. And that I don't I feel like the hype like that we're seeing now with Hughes and picking up was nowhere near the hype that with McCarr when he was going no. nuts. Because it no. was Bobby or this, Bobby or that. And I think that's really hard. That's going to be a really hard thing to overcome. And McCarr's going to have that, what do you want to call it? I don't. I want to call it like, even if he struggles, he's still going to have that aura from all that, from that past, how we were talking about him. He's still playing great. But yeah, yeah. I think he's going to need some Norris's and 100 points probably just to get in that conversation that he's better than McCarr. But I, I think... I think they're closer than we like than maybe we think at times. I think that's a good way of putting it, right? Because with the car, it's like the or comparison. Yeah. And with Hughes, it's the McCarr comparison. Yeah. So it just shows you sort of what the pecking order is there. The other thing that you could, and I honestly don't even, we've been doing this for almost two years now. We've heard a number of people mention kind of like the Vancouver hobby thing, or maybe just the Vancouver mm. hockey thing in general. And I don't, I'll admit, I don't really understand what it is or what makes it where have you heard like there's not like a big like collecting base for the team or oh, I don't we have tons of listeners and watchers in Vancouver. Yeah. So Maybe it's too nice outside and they live in a gorgeous part of the country so they just go outside all the time. And don't they're always at Whist- I want to go skiing in Whistler. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, there's our hobby deep dive on, on Quinn Hughes. Do you think we learned anything or no? Oh yeah, I, I learn every I learn something every time. I love going through the top five cards. I still can't believe that that dual RPA one hundred and one. <laughs> yeah, I think if that card went up for sale today, 
I think it'd be big time. Because the whole Jack Hughes thing yeah. will go for a lot more.